morning, Abbey Travelers. Welcome back to St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. We arrived yesterday and got right into things. Immediately got on a Sunset Catamaran cruise and we ended up getting to our Airbnb pretty late last night. Right now we're going to meet up with one of Kevin's friends that he knows that lives here for some coffee and she's going to show us around the old town of Charlotte Amelie which is very like colorful and colonial. Then we have another catamaran cruise in the afternoon to go snorkeling. But we're running a little late right now so let's get to town. The roads here are kind of insane. It's very mountainous here in the Virgin Islands. The roads are windy and narrow and bumpy and it's a little nuts. Wow, that was an insane drive and I wasn't even driving. The streets are super narrow and super, super windy so much so that you can't even like make a straight turn. You have to like make a three point turn. But we made it, we're only half an hour late and uh, <clears throat> we're gonna get some coffee because we need it. All right, so we had a nice little coffee date and now we're exploring downtown Charlotte Amelie. Our friend Serena has taken us to her favorite spots and we're now in Palm Passage, which is kind of this cute courtyard area that has a bunch of shops in it. I just went into the store called Mystic by the Sea. It's got a little mermaid on the sign and of course I didn't plan on buying anything, but I walked out with a macrame purse. Well, it's a, it's a birthday present to myself because my birthday's tomorrow. I'm happy to spend my money here. There aren't any cruise ships that are, have come for the last year and that's a big part of their industry. So there's nobody here, which I feel like this would be just packed with people if there were cruise ships in port. It's great for photos, but not so good for business. So I'm happy to support a local shop. The buildings are super cool and colorful and we're enjoying taking photos. A little history about St. Thomas is it was originally a Danish colony. In 1600s, St. Thomas was claimed by Denmark and it didn't become a U.S. territory until the early 1900s and 1917, I think, which is when the Americans bought the islands and it became an American territory. Continuing our tour around downtown Charlotte, Amelie. Uh, we've seen some really cool back streets, lots of cool buildings, but it's very hot. It's probably 85 degrees and very, very humid, so it's a little bit of a struggle, but I think we're sort of heading back towards the car because we need to be on our way to the dock for our catamaran excursion. So, see what else we can find before we get back. All right, so we made it back to our little rental truck here. They gave us kind of a island truck. It's dinged up and not conspicuous as a rental car, which is pretty cool. We were kind of suffering a little bit from the heat. It's pretty humid outside. I could deal with the heat, but the humidity definitely drains you. So we needed to sit in the car with the air conditioner on for a few minutes before we kind of were revived back to life. But it was really cool to see all the old streets and all the old buildings. Yeah, definitely historic and colorful and uh, colonial, as I said, most of the historical buildings were built in the Danish colonial period by the slaves that they had here. Some slaves were emancipated in the middle of the 1800s, I believe, before America bought the islands, but much of the remaining architecture was built by the slave labor, which 
is part of the history here, but we just wanted to um, acknowledge that. We have about a 15 minute drive back to the Marriott where we're gonna get back on the catamaran that we were on in our last video. Make sure you check that out for an awesome sunset cruise. But we are going to go snorkeling today, so we finally get to get in the water, which we haven't done yet. Yeah, it's gonna feel nice because it's hot. Are you ready to go? Let's do it. The VI Cat Tour leaves from the Marriott, the Frenchman's Cove Marriott. There's two Marriott's on the island, so you gotta make sure you go to the right one. And once you come in, you tell the gate attendant that you are here for the VI Cat Tour. They let you in and direct you to this small gravel parking lot where you can park your car and then you walk down to the beach. So you walk into the building that's right off the gravel parking lot. You take the elevator down to the bottom floor. So you won't want the first elevator, you want the second elevator that goes down to the bottom. Once you get out of the elevator, you're going to come to a big wooden staircase and that'll take you down to the beach. And then it's just a quick walk along the beach to get to the cat. So we got a little safety briefing about when we need to wear our masks, where the life jackets are, all that good kind of stuff that you're always gonna get on one of these tours. And we're about to get on and go snorkel with some turtles, which is pretty awesome. snorkeling destination. It's called Buck Island or Turtle Cove, which apparently there are a bunch of turtles here to see and we're gonna get in the water and hopefully see them. So they're considering the VI Cat to be like a restaurant. So when you're seated at your table, you don't have to have your mask on. If you stand up and walk around for any reason, you need to put that mask back on. But now that they've started the activity, you can take your mask off and put your snorkel on and do all that stuff. There's all kinds of weird rules that the governor has imposed that you have to follow. Standing up sitting down mask on mask off I don't know but we're trying to follow them as good as possible After our tour, we have just a little bit of time before we're going to meet up with Kevin's friend Serena. So we decided to finally check out one of the beaches on the island. She recommended that we go to Lime Tree Beach, which it didn't even come up on any searches when I looked. So it's going to be interesting to see a local's perspective on uh, what beach they recommend. So it's actually at a resort, but all the beaches in the Virgin Islands are public. So you can go into the resort and go actually to the beach. We haven't actually shown our rental truck yet. Um, it's kind of this beat up island truck. So this is it. It's got a bunch of dings and this like grate on the back of it. And I think it's all wheel drive, which is pretty cool. All kinds of manner of dents and scrapes but it has served us well so far on the crazy roads of St. Thomas.
We're back at the Airbnb. We ended up not filming any of dinner. We were with a couple of friends doing some outdoor dining and as we haven't had much socializing time over the last year or so, we decided to fully enjoy that. We're gonna end this here because I think we're just about to shower and pass out. Yep. But be sure to subscribe. We have a lot more videos coming from this trip. We're going to be exploring St. Thomas some more and going to St. John. Which I hear St. John is a must see, so you're definitely gonna wanna see that. And we will see you tomorrow, which is my birthday, yay! So thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Kelly and Kevin from The Awkward Tourists. So it's fairly new in terms of being American. It's definitely not new as a <laughs> as a place and I don't know what I'm saying, never mind. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it was recording. So as you can see, snorkeling is just about the sexiest thing that you can do. <laughs> I think it's good. Yeah. Um, tourist rental car and also chickens. <laughs>